Good evening, all. Welcome as we gather today in our Church of Lady Star of the Sea to celebrate the Mass uh, for the 30th Sunday in Ordinary Time. For the benefit of all parishioners, please make sure our phones are turned off or at least in silent mode. Father Ronnie will lead us in the Eucharist today. Could we please stand and join in our entry hymn? <coughs> name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. With Good evening, dear friends. In today's gospel passage, Jesus asked to the blind beggar, what, we, what I want to do for you. So the same question may come to our mind too. What Jesus want to do for us? Let us bring our needs to hands of our loving God. <coughs> Dear friends, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you came to gather the nations into peace of God's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you come in word and in sacrament 
to strengthen us and make us holy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you will come again in glory with salvation for your people. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, increase our faith, hope, and charity, and make us love what you command, so that we may merit what you promise. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the prophet Jeremiah. The Lord says this, shout with joy for Jacob, hail the chief of nations. Proclaim, praise, shout. The Lord has saved his people, the remnant of Israel. See, I will bring them back from the land of the north and gather them from the far ends of earth, all of them, the blind and the lame, women with children, women in labor, a great company returning here. They had left in tears. I will comfort them as I lead them back. I will guide them to streams of water by a smooth path where they will not stumble. For I am a father to Israel, and Ephraim is my firstborn son. The word of the Lord. Responsorial Psalm. The Lord has done great things for us. We are filled with joy. When the Lord delivered Zion from bondage, it seemed like a dream. Then was our mouth filled with laughter, on our lips there were songs. The Lord has done great things for us, we are filled with joy. The heathens themselves said, what marvels the Lord worked for them, what marvels the Lord worked for us, indeed we are glad. The Lord has done great things for us, we are filled with joy. Deliver us, O Lord, from our bondage as streams in dry land. 
Those who are sowing in tears will sing when they reap. The Lord has done great things for us. We are filled with joy. They go out, they go out, full of tears, carrying seed for the sowing. They come back, they come back, full of song, carrying their sheaves. The Lord has done great things for us. We are filled with joy. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Every high priest has been taken out of mankind and is appointed to act for men in their relations with God, to offer gifts and sacrifices for sins, so he can sympathize with those who are ignorant or uncertain, because he too lives in the limitations of weaknesses. That is why he has to make sin offerings for himself as well as for the people. No one takes this honor on himself, but each one is called by God as Aaron was. Nor did Christ give himself the glory of becoming high priest, but he did it from the one who said to him, you are my son, today I have become your father. And in another text, you are a priest of the order of Melchizedek and forever. The word of the Lord. Please stand to welcome the gospel. Savior Jesus Christ has done away with death and brought us life through this gospel. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. As Jesus left Jericho with his disciples and a large crowd, Bartimaeus, a blind beggar, was sitting at the side of the road. When he heard that it was Jesus of Nazareth, he began to shout and to say, Son of David, Jesus, have pity on me. And many of them scolded him and told him, to keep quiet, but he only shouted all the louder, Son of David, have pity on me. Jesus stopped and said, Call him here. So they called the blind man. Courage, they said, get up, he is calling you. So throwing off his cloak, he jumped jumped up and went to Jesus. Then Jesus spoke, What do you want me to do for you? Rabboni, the blind man, said to him, Master, let me see again. Jesus said to him, Go, your faith has saved you. And immediately his sight returned, and he followed him along the road. The Gospel of the Lord. Blindness was very worse in Jesus' time. Little wonder then that one of the signs of the coming of Messiah was the blind receives sight. That we can connect with the way the blind man called Jesus, son of David, have pity on me. He didn't call Jesus, have pity on me. The blind man is giving an indication 
he is the messiah and when jesus made his messianic uh, mission statement we see in luke chapter 4 words uh, 18 the spirit of the lord is upon me he has sent me to proclaim recovery of sight to the blind the story of today is the healing of a blind bartimaeus who got sight and today's gospel describes jesus final journey to jerusalem through jericho an ancient city 15 miles away from jerusalem it was a city of great wealth and remarkable beauty supporting many date palm plantations and fig trees great numbers of merchants and jewish priests made their homes in this pleasant city the mosaic law required every jewish jewish male over the 50 or th sorry over the 12 a 12 of year old living within 15 miles of jerusalem has to attend the passover festival those who for one reason or another were relieved from the obligation would often line the roads to to jerusalem to greet the crowds of pilgrims as they pass towards the city during the journey the jewish rabbis used to teach the pilgrims about the religious lessons and in that line beggars also used to be lined to beg and earn money and that's the scenario of the gospel passage of today one such beggar was the blind man known as bartimaeus but today his intention is not for begging for money he is there begging for his sight because he believed in jesus that he can give him the sight back so he is a big sign that he is the one showing us so many lessons so let us take three lessons from bartimaeus life first bartimaeus was a man of persistence persistence gets attention there were so many reasons to keep him away from jesus people gathered around him and the crowd and jesus own disciples and the crowd stopped him so there were so many reasons but he was not ready to give up and the same way we should be persistent in our prayer life we should not give up on what as important to us bartimaeus was desperate but this made him to so determine to meet jesus in our life sometimes we find ourselves in a desperate situation perhaps we try hard to exert every effort that we can and do whatever we can do to overcome it but it seems nothing works well then we realize our power is limited in moments of like this to whom shall we go like bartimaeus let us go to jesus to ask for healing and help he will listen to our cry and he will call us by name second bartimaeus was a man who was clear about his need he knew what he wanted that is his sight when we pray to god like bartimaeus we must be very specific in our prayer we must know what we want in knowing what we want hopefully we will also learn what is good for me we should learn from bartimaeus we must know what we need the third lesson bartimaeus was a man of gratitude having received his sight he followed jesus 
symbolically, we see that he left his cloak and followed Jesus. Dear friends, God has blessed us with many gifts. He heals us our, our own many wounds. He strengthens us when we feel weak. How do we show our gratitude to God for his goodness to us? There is a story believed to be true about Abraham Lincoln just before the close of the Civil War. Land owners were cutting their losses, setting their slave holdings before slavery was banned. And one of the auctions was happening for the slaves. President Lincoln came upon a slave auction in progress. And a young girl was placed upon the auction block. Abraham Lincoln did the bid and won it. When he won the bid and took possession of the young woman, she was so aggressive. What are you going to do with me? She asked. I am going to set you free, the president answered. Set me free? What do you mean, set me free? Free for what? She demanded. Abraham Lincoln said, free, free to do what you want to do, free to go wherever you want to go. The astonished woman replied, then I choose to go with you. After a lifetime of earnings for freedom, the first time this former slave chooses to do when she becomes free is to yield herself back under the authority of the one who set her free. Dear friends, this is our call. You and I are free. That is what Jesus said. He made us free dying on the cross. May we use our freedom to be his servants in a dark and hurting world and reflect his glorious light to remove the spiritual blindness and darkness around us. May this begin today. So, reflecting and meditating upon this beautiful passage of Bartimaeus, let us also look into our life and receive the message the story gives us. Be persistent in our prayer. Be gratitude in our life. And also be sure what we want from God because he saved us. He made us free through dying on the cross. He is there to listen to us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. I believe in God, Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and he seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. I believe in the Holy Spirit, <coughs> the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Dear friends, let us bring our prayers before the Lord who saves all who call on him. 
that the Holy Church will become more truly the body of Christ and embrace all people everywhere. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving God, we pray for indigenous peoples, the traditional custodians of this land, and thank them for caring for your precious creation. May we learn from their wisdom, working towards a sustainable future where the land is nurtured, respected, and shared by all. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving God, help us to honor and respect the traditions of our indigenous brothers and sisters. May we listen compassionately to their hurt and pain so that we may achieve peace, justice, and reconciliation amongst all of your children. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear our prayer. That those struggling with the devastating effects of climate change will receive the help that they need and that our society will find ways of mitigating future events. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick will find comfort in the Lord's healing mercy, including Pam Wolford, Kathleen McGrath, Tina Ryan, and Marcel Claridge. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who have died will be led in mercy to the Father's heavenly kingdom, especially Lilia Eckhart on her anniversary. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving Father, your words are spirit and life for all the people. Hear our prayers and help us to always remain steadfast in our faith. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Yeah. 
pray, my dear friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for all good and the good of his holy church. Look, we pray, O Lord, on the offerings we make to your majesty, that whatever is done by us in your service may be directed above all to your glory. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you laid the foundations of the world and have arranged the changing of times and seasons. You formed human race in your own image and set humanity over the whole world in all its wonder to rule in your name over all you have made and forever praise you in your mighty works through Christ our Lord. And so with all the angels we praise you as in joyful celebration we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and the working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these sacred mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks, he gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven. And as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving 
this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant, Francis, our Pope, Mark, our Archbishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the praise of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. And our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from our distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who set your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you, Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him 
who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb.
parish updates. Next Friday, we celebrate as All Saints Day and Saturday, All Souls Day. <coughs> we have special masses, All Saints Day 9.15, All Souls Day Saturday morning, 7.30 a.m. We have mass here in this church and the blessing of Columbarium. So please follow the newsletter for the timing and save your calendar. Carmel College Marist Game Changes, uh, they are collecting the stationary items for sent to Sri Lanka. There is a box at the back of the church. Next few weeks it will be there. You can bring some stationaries to send to uh, Sri Lanka. There will be a box you can place in that box. And from the All Souls Day, we remember all our departed souls. So there is a book of remembrance in our parish. It is placed at the main entrance of the church, and it is the same of last year. Many of you have written the family members who died or departed, so you need not repeat the sheet. If you want to update the sheet, please check in the folder. You will find your folder and write the names. Or if you, those who want to join to that, there is a sheet together with a, a folder. Take one sheet and write the names and fill in the folder. Thank you. Please stand for final prayers. Let us pray. May your sacraments, O Lord, we pray, perfect in us what lies within them, that what we now celebrate in signs, we may one day possess in truth, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go for the Mass is ended. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful evening.